A man is in jail tonight after police say he intentionally set a van on fire outside a Jewish community center. The flames spread to the building, causing significant damage. Thankfully, no one was inside at the time. And NBC6's Nico Clemens is live in Fort Lauderdale to show us the damage in a story you'll see only on 6. Nico. Alina, just unfortunate and devastating what happened here. This place is like a second home to so many people. So here's what happened. The rabbi says he parked his van right here, and this man, he walked up to the van, lit it on fire. That fire spread to the entire building, damaged the back, the, the front of the building, the back of the building, the inside and outside. You see right here, they've already boarded up the windows here, and right over here in the corner, that trash can is almost melted to the ground but the rabbi says this all happened hours before their saturday morning service an act of evil everything is still fresh a lot of emotions a fire at las olas habad jewish community center in fort lauderdale police say the fire was not accidental if he would have done it at 2 a.m and nobody would have been in the back of the building. Who knows what would have happened? Rabbi Haim Slavatitsky says he got a knock at his door Saturday morning. He's screaming, fire at the center, fire at the center, and I rushed over. He says the fire was under control, but the damage was done. The rabbi says their security cameras show a man light his van on fire. Police say that man was Scott Hannaford. The rabbi says Hannaford tried lighting the building on fire too, but he was unsuccessful. The fire quickly spread to the back of the building. The kitchen completely damaged. There's smoke damage and soot throughout the building. Be grateful that it, it's not worse and the building is standing and the most important thing is that nobody was inside. Police arrested Hannaford hours later. They say he appears to suffer from mental illness and was previously trespassed from the property. The rabbi says he's seen Hannaford several times as recently as Friday. He says Hannaford was standing in the alley and screamed at his family to drive around him. Police say this was an isolated incident by a known individual and is not considered a hate crime. The rabbi's van is destroyed. When we were going through the car to get out of belongings, we noticed that the book was unharmed. But inside his van was this Jewish prayer book, still intact, giving this congregation some hope. This is a hug from God, and God is telling us to all stand together, and we always have to, at times like this, to turn back to our prayer books, to turn back to God. And their Saturday morning service was held outside. The rabbi says what was meant for bad actually united them. We have to look at the positive, and it's a time to really reflect on unity, on coming together, and really uh, continuing to be a light to the community. So this is going to impact and affect so much. The rabbi says they have two big events on Sunday, including one for their special needs teens. Uh, they have about or expect 75 teenagers here at the building. So right now they're trying to figure out if they should have uh, those programs and events outside or move somewhere else. I want to mention really quickly you hear again, he talked about that surveillance or, uh, that surveillance video uh, in the story. He wasn't able to access it, the surveillance video because they don't have any power or internet, internet right now. So he says he's going to try to get that to us. And when we do get that, that we will share that with you, or hopefully, uh, sometime tomorrow. In Fort Lauderdale, Nico Clements, NBC Six News.